YouTube! Black coach for the black coach gods, right? I know there's so many of you who love that thing, so there you go. Um, I got a vampire army coming up against the dwarves. You can see a grudge throw already fine, right? And it's, it looks like it's the goblobber, and why not? That thing's fantastic. Let's take a look at the um, vampire army. We got some crypt horrors out here. Um, looks like six units of zombies shielding grave guard, which are under heavy fire from that grudge thrower. And then there's a claw of Nagash, a master necromancer, and a black coach. Master Necromancer is an interesting pick. I guess you don't need a massively tanky lord um, with the vampires versus the dwarves. We've got black knights and a blood knight out here as well. So, we've got a little bit of cavalry power. The, the dwarves are camped right up against this rock, which is fine. It's a defensive position for them. There's some miners with blasting charges out front, a cannon, goblobber, slayers in the back. We've got a rune lord and a rune smith. Um, grumbling guard, good pick. Quarlers, not too many of them either, but it's going to be hard to protect this artillery for the dwarf player. From, oh my goodness, but look how effective it is. It's already wrecked the Claw and the Gash. The Claw of the Gash would need to pull back. Let's, oh, it looks like we've got someone lining up at wind of death. Whenever you see a lord going up the side of an army like this, it's almost a sure sign that a wind of death is soon to be had. Look at him, just lined up out here. Wait, yep, here it comes. Holy mackerel. Let's watch it. Oh. oh my gosh! <laughs> oh boy, that's a grudging. 266 kills, that is a grudging indeed. I'm gonna be surprised if the dwarf player, based on the timer here, doesn't rage quit. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Oh man. Oh. Whew. Thank you for sending this. That that made my day watching that. <laughs> so if you're going to camp as the dwarves, which I'm all for because that's the way they play, you got to watch out for that wind of death. And it was pretty apparent. What I would have done there was baited that if I were the dwarves. You saw how he dropped the wind. Of, yeah, it looks like he just quit. <laughs> and we'll load another replay because I got one for you. Because I figured that would be quick. Oh, man, that was worth it. If you're not entertained at this point, I don't know what does entertain you. So Ninja Hun sent me this one. He figured you guys would enjoy it. It's a squig herd. And he's coming up against um, this Empire armor there, which is a Jade Wizard, an Empire Captain, and a Stank. Obviously hoping to, uh, to heal those things. That is a heck of a lot of squigs. Are squigs still unbreakable when they're in combat? Plus 16 leadership if they're in melee. Yeah, it's still pretty good. And they get extra armor piercing damage on top of it. And they have really good armor piercing. So they're still a decent unit, but they're not as unbreakable as they used to be, I think. Um, anyway, the Empire Army's got some really solid infantry up the center. There's a silver bullet handgunner, which is going to have to be careful of. A Zentler's Reichsguard, which against these type of... Uh, well, Savage Biggins have a bonus versus large. Savage Orcs do not. Let's see, so we got the Night Gobbo Shaman here, and he's probably got Itchy Nuisance, and um, let's, let's see if we can get the thing on him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Itchy Nuisance, Sneaky Stabbing, and the reduced recharge rate, so the Sneaky Stealing. Empire, General of the Empire may try and fear out some of the Savage Orcs. You can do that sometimes. Yep, he is. So you'll see players try to do this to the Greenskins, where you use a flying unit like this to try and demoralize and rout an inferior infantry unit. The squig herds are looking to combine with the uh, savage orcs almost it looks like. Not a lot of damage here though. I think you need more than one unit to usually pull that off. Like if there was an amber wizard supporting that captain. The stank is a pretty good unit against the greenskins at times, but with this much anti-armor for the squig herd, I think the stank is going to end up being an awkward pick. Look at those hand gunners though, how quickly they decimated this squig herd. If the squig herd get into combat, it'll stabilize, but it's questionable as to whether they're even making it into combat. Oh, they do, so it should... No, they still wavered and routed. So the squig herd's coming forward. They actually pinned down the steam tanks, so that's really bad for the Empire. The Empire Knights charging into the squigs. Like I said, once the squigs get in combat, they should hold up fairly good because of that leadership buff. And yeah, over here with the squigs and the leaders, so we've got two um, goblin big bosses and... Um, yeah, the, the leader here, which is the Night Goblin War Boss on a Squig. They've managed to pin down the General of the Empire and cause a ton of damage. Savage Orcs ought to be pretty good versus Flagellants, I would think. 
Up against the uh, Great Swords, not so much, but as these squigs regroup and come rejoin the combat, they can support, and they help do the armor piercing damage to the Great Swords that the Savage Orcs can't, but there's an itchy nuisance here, which is doing some great damage to the, uh, the Great Swords over there. Great damage to the Great Swords, eh. I rhyme. Zentler's Reichsguard is actually getting torn up pretty bad here, and the addition of the squigs to that fight should only speed this up. So, so far the uh, Squig army with the Savage Orcs is looking to be an interesting combination here by Ninja Hun. Which, by the way, if you guys want to learn more about multiplayer, uh, Ninja Hun has an army guide. I'm going to put a link into the description in this video. Go check it out. It is a really good army guide if you're getting started in Total War. And if you want to learn more, you can go watch his uh, Twitch stream. He streams every day on Twitch. He's very dedicated to the multiplayer community of this game. And that is one of the reasons why I like him and I like what he's doing for the game, because I think he has helped, amongst others, draw in a lot of multiplayer attention to Total War Warhammer, and to me that makes the game have some nice longevity. Yeah, look at that Squig Herd stabilizing the leadership. It's just dropping a little bit, but they're doing some decent damage to a more expensive unit. So Squig's maybe not as popular as they were a patch or so ago. Look at the Jade Wizard and the Empire Captain here. Here comes another itchy nuisance, I believe. Yeah. Some of the uh, the greenskin units routing here due to the terror, and terror is a real problem for the greenskins. And this is probably going to do the same here too. Probably will terrorize, and then the shots in the back. Yeah, it's probably going to terrorize these savage orcs out of the fight. Yep, they're terrified. See, so I mean that is definitely a downfall of this army. Terror is still real. But as he keeps his leaders around, it'll help. But even the leaders he's brought here actually can succumb to terror. But the squigs definitely help to pin down the uh, Empire General. And the uh, armor piercing off of there is a bonus as well. And then the anti-large from the uh, the other units. Yeah, they keep biting this uh, General of the Empire and keeping it on the ground. And if the uh, war bosses hit it, it'll poison him and slow him down further. So the Stank is still alive, and it's going after these Savage Orcs, which are chasing down the Silver Bullets. The Silver Bullets are badly needed here if the Empire player wants a comeback. But the General of the Empire routes, which actually gets him away. Now the Steam Tank should be able to be attacked, and again, the Jade Wizard can keep the uh, Steam Tank alive, assuming that he has more magic. But you can see it is taking immense damage here. The Armor Piercing from the Squigs is a very, very handy tool to have for something like this as the Greenskins. And they're a cheap tool, so again, they're going to be a lot shakier on leadership. Look at this green skin blob here going to slaughter what's left of the Empire. The captain came back. The terror on the steam tank is not probably going to work too well at the moment because it's probably not winning the combat. The Empire captain dropping down in here could... Nah, I mean, it's going to hurt the Gabo Shaman, but most of the rest of the units, yeah. It looks like he admits defeat. So, awesome squig army there by Ninja Hunt. Kind of cool to see them being made use of. And I also like the Savage Orc pick. I mean, I'm starting to see more Savage Orcs for the Greenskins, but I haven't seen a ton. And uh, they really are a cool unit. And they, and I think as of the recent patch, I don't think people realize how useful they've been made. Um, they're, they're a very useful unit in the uh, Greenskin roster. So hope you all were entertained today. You got a ton of squigs. You got an awesome wind of death. This should be a good day for you. I had a good day watching it. Hey, I appreciate you being here. And first, let me say I appreciate MSI sponsoring my channel. I am actually now officially sponsored by MSI. I've got some really cool stuff coming your way thanks to them. You need to go check out my uh, Twitter channel. I put up a tweet. It's got a link in it um, where I was talking about uh, going to the AMD event. You have a chance to win yourself an AMD motherboard um, so that you can do some upgrades with your AMD computer. Uh, or if you want to go to AMD, you can go. So go join the competition. I'll put a link in the description of this video too. Go check out the link. It gives you a cool chance to win an awesome motherboard. Um, it's a cool giveaway. Um, thanks to MSI because of them sponsoring me. And uh, also, I'm going to be able to go down and learn um, you know, kind of some cool stuff about AMD. And I'm hoping to bring you all some videos about, hey, if you want to build your own budget computer to play Total War with, I'm going to be doing kind of a series of build your own Total War PC. And uh, MSI is going to help me with that as well. Super pumped for it. If you want to subscribe and, and stay ready for the new content, please click my logo down in the bottom right-hand corner. Helps me out a lot, and it helps you... Make sure that you're there with the rest of the notification squad when new videos come up. Hey, I really love making this content for you. It's a real pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you back soon with more Total War Warhammer Online Battles.